Today we're taking a look at these MLB matches, which are happening on Tuesday, June 21, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Going back to our video we will give you two betting picks for each game, a team pick and a total pick based on facts and detailed explanation. So make sure to watch our videos till the end so you don't miss any of our picks. Atlanta Braves vs San Francisco Giants. Our team pick is. Atlanta Braves. San Francisco missed a chance to sweep the Pirates on the road and gain ground in the NL West as they were knocked off in walk-off fashion Sunday. The Giants entered Monday's opener third in the NL West, three games behind the Dodgers for the top spot. On Sunday, San Francisco was limited to only four hits with no player, having more than one. Jock Peterson singled home a pair in the opening inning and Thyro Estrada's fifth homer of the season in the ninth inning tied the game at three. That was the extent of San Francisco's offense as they lost in the bottom of the frame. Alex Cobb didn't factor in the decision as he allowed two runs on four hits with one walk and two strikeouts over four innings of work. Tyler Rogers, 0-3, took the loss as he allowed a walk-off solo homer to Jack Zawinski leading off the bottom of the ninth. Atlanta saw their 14-game win streak end in their weekend set with the Cubs, but avoided a sweep to earn their 15th win in 17 games with Sunday's triumph. The Braves entered Monday night second in the NL East, six games behind the Mets for the division lead. On Sunday, Atlanta got three hits from Matt Olson, run, RBI, while Dansby Swanson, two runs, and Austin Riley, run, RBI, each added a pair. Travis Durnow, his ninth, and Michael Harris, two, his third, each homered in the contest for Atlanta. Ian Anderson, 6-3, earned the win as he allowed no runs on three hits with two walks and six strikeouts before turning things over to the bullpen. This one is going to be tough for the Giants when you get down to it. They moved Sam Long back to the bullpen over the weekend, but Desclafani is likely to be on a pitch count as he isn't stretched back out fully after just two rehab outings. That is going to take a toll on the Giants' bullpen group, which has pitched to a 4.05 ERA on the season entering Monday. Strider has won his last two starts and is averaging better than 1.5 strikeouts per inning this season. The Braves are an explosive team offensively at home, and with the Giants struggling a bit at the plate recently, you have to wonder if they can keep up. Give the upper hand to Atlanta in this contest. Our total pick is. Under, and here is why. The total has finished under in three out of the last five games played between San Francisco and Atlanta. The Giants have seen the total finish under in nine of the last 13 overall, while Atlanta has seen the total finish under in five of the last eight when playing at home against a team from the National League West. Atlanta starting pitcher Spencer Strader has allowed two earned runs or less in each of the last three starts and on the season has an ERA of just 2.45. Philadelphia Phillies at Texas Rangers, our team pick is. Rangers for the win. The Philadelphia Phillies come into this series winners of 15 out of their last 18 games. They have now won five straight series and have improved to 36-32 on the season. The Phillies nearly swept away the Nationals in Washington in a rare five-game series, but dropped Sunday's finale 9-3. In the loss, the Phillies again played without reigning MVP Bryce Harper due to a blister on his left hand. The Phils are hopeful that Harper will be ready to go with an additional day off on Monday. The Rangers come into this matchup fresh off of a series split with the lowly Detroit Tigers. After taking the first two games, Texas looked well on its way to a series win until the Tigers' bat suddenly came alive to trounce Rangers pitching. The league's worst hitting team scored 14 runs on Saturday in a 14-7 win and then followed that up with seven more runs in a 7-3 win on Sunday. Texas now finds itself at 31-35 and back in third place in the Al West division. On Sunday Texas trailed 3-1 but came back to tie the game at three heading into the bottom of the fifth. Starter Dane Dunning faltered in the fifth, allowing two runs, and the Tigers tacked on two more in the eighth for the 7-3 decision. Martin Perez has been outstanding for the Rangers this season, with 10 quality starts in 13 and perpetually giving the Rangers a chance to win. The Rangers have won eight out of Perez's last nine starts this season. Perez was outstanding in his first start this season against the Phillies in Philadelphia. He went seven innings and allowed just four hits, while striking out four and throwing just 88 pitches. 
Perez has also only allowed four home runs this year in total, and just one in six home starts. He should be able to keep the ball down and keep the Phillies' potent lineup, particularly left-handed bats like Schwarber and Harper, at bay in this matchup. The Rangers can exploit Gibson who has been below average in June save for his last start. In three starts this month, Gibson has allowed 17 hits in just 17 innings of work with two home runs. Rangers SS Corey Seager should be particularly excited to see Gibson thanks to his .400 career batting average against Gibson, including a home run. Our total pick is. Over 8.5 runs. A bunch of Philly batters hit Martin Perez very well. Didi Gregorius is 5 14ths with 3 home runs and 4 RBIs, Gene Segura is 9 30ths with 3 home runs and 6 RBIs, Nick Costellanis is 6 12ths with 1 home run and 4 RBIs, and Alec Bohm is 5 10ths with 1 home run and 5 RBIs against Pairs. Kyle Schwarber leads the team in home runs, and he is top 5 in the NL in home runs. Bryce Harper leads the team in runs, hits, and RBIs. He has been collecting hits and is seeing the ball very well this year. The offense has been good for Philly this season. They are top 10 in the league in runs, hits, home runs, RBIs, batting average, OBP, SLG, and ops. The Phillies will hit pair as well and score a lot of runs. The over will hit. Houston Astros vs New York Mets. Our team pick is. New York Mets. And here is why. The Mets continue to look like one of the most well-rounded teams in baseball, turning in a complete performance on Monday afternoon to ensure a series victory over the Marlins. Mark Canha drew a bases loaded walk in the bottom of the first to open the scoring, while Eduardo Escobar added a sack fly in the fourth and two run single in the eighth. David Peterson tossed 5.1 scoreless innings to earn the win, allowing six hits and two walks, while racking up seven strikeouts. Brandon Nimmo went 3 5 with a double and two runs scored to set the table at the top of the order. The Mets are one of the most profitable teams in baseball on the money line, while going 39 29 on the run line. Overs are 36-28-4 for the Mets, with two of their last three games going under the betting total. This is the second highest scoring offenses in baseball at 5.03 runs per game on a strong point 737 team ops. New York pitching has overcome injuries to post a solid 3.86 collective ERA, including a mark of 3.70 from the bullpen. Quickly got back on track with two straight series wins, including taking two of three from the White Sox over the weekend. Kyle Tucker opened the scoring in the bottom of the first in Sunday's rubber game with an RBI single, while J.J. Matijevic and Mauricio Dubin later padded the lead with homers. Christian Javier picked up the win, allowing one run on two hits and four walks over five innings, while striking out five. Ryan Presley turned in a scoreless ninth inning for his 13th save. Dubin was on base three times, while Michael Brantley had a double and a walk. While Houston pitching has typically been lights out this season, Urquidy looks like the weak link for now and gets a tough challenge here. Williams can give the Mets some decent enough innings as he's been effective in a swingman role, and the New York offense will continue to provide plenty of run support. After turning in three strong seasons to begin his career, Urquidy has seen a massive jump in hard contact allowed in 2022, leading to a 133 ERA 123 FIP for the campaign. New York's lineup is difficult to navigate with both star power and depth, with the unit posting a 114 WRC plus to rank second in all of baseball. Williams has quietly turned in strong numbers despite bouncing back and forth between the rotation and bullpen, with metrics like a 90 FIP and 16.4 KBB percent. There won't be too many opportunities to get plus odds on the Mets this season, and they have value against the struggling equity. Our total pick is. Over 9. And here is why, both teams have been carried by their lineups, and the upcoming game should reflect that with both teams driving in runs throughout the game. The Astros look to build off a four-run game and constantly plate base runners with Jordan Alvarez, Jose Altuve, and the rest of the lineup making hard contact throughout the game. The Mets, who have scored 26 runs in the last five games, should run up the score with Pete Alonso, Francisco Linder, Starling Mart, and the rest of the batting order, swinging for the fences and making hard contact off the entire Astros pitching staff to drive in runs at will. The over should cover in a high-scoring game controlled by both lineups. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.